3.2, what it's going to take, top 10%, at least my theories. And really, uh, well, this isn't a repeat, so I don't have quite the same um, strategy of numbers that I can go off of, but I'm still trying to utilize some percentages based off of uh, previous performances. So what we're going to look at today and see what it's going to take to get to that top 10%. And really have to go off of right now is, of course, uh, Krennikov and, and Vellner going at it. Assuming Krennikov is one of the going to be one of the tops as he wins last week, uh, kind of using that as a baseline and then going back to some other years. thoughts without diving into the numbers. It's a little more simplified as in the in the Metcon with the burpee pull up and running. So I think the discrepancy, the cost of entry here is not quite as high as, as last week got kind of progressively um, some ups and downs of like technicality. So I think the what we've been coming up with right now is this 63 to 66% of output of the top, you know, the best scores in the world. 10% seems to be about an output of 63 to 66% there on some of the tests that I've run, and I'll go over that in a second. You're going to have to produce higher than that 66% in this Metcon uh, because the cost of entry, the technicality, is fairly low. We're talking about burpees. We're talking about jumping into pull-ups and then a jog. With the lift, I looked back at 2021 when the, the last... Um, opportunity to lift a heavy barbell and find a max and it was that crazy complex and again it looked like the output was something around 66 percent on the metcon if we're, we're just purely talking about the 64 percentile or 64 percent of production based off of krennikov's 168 which is still holding up right now that would only put you around 107 to 108 reps uh, to be in the top 10 percent However, this is where my, my, my eye test tells me that that number is low because the, the barrier to technicality is low. So I think you have to raise this up to um, something closer to in the 70% of production has to be matched. That's 115 or so. And that starts to sound a little more appropriate. Somewhere around 115 to 120 is going to be, uh, I think, my production prediction for a top 10% finish on this Metcon. I think I'm going to pen, I'm going to say 123. 123 is the cost to get to top 10% on this Metcon. And I think it's going to be very similar guys to girls. I, I, for some reason, I feel like it's going to be maybe a little lower for ladies, maybe in that 118 range. I tend to see a higher vertical with, with guys. So does that little discrepancy over Mounting reps play a part in fatigue over a 15-minute AMRAP, potentially. So that could knock down that 10% that a little bit. Um, running, because we're talking maybe length at this point. Uh, bigger strides from, from tall on average, taller male athletes over 15 minutes and round after round. I think that could factor in. So I do think there's going to be a, a small discrepancy on the weightlifting what I I think this one could be a little more accurate with the um, 63 to 66% of production. And right now we're sitting at Krennikov at 295. And I think there's going to be an outlier, right? Like there's going to be somebody that's really special here. And I think that number is going to go up even further than the 305 potential. 305 should be pretty close there. If you're talking about um, 66%, which I kind of like this number, uh, it's 201 pounds for guys and 152 for late. The guy's weight seems a little low for top 10% for me on the eye test, and the women's weight seems a little high. If you look at 63%, we see more of a 195-ish for guys and a 145 for girls. And I feel like that sounds about right with the women at 145 for top 10%. Yeah, this one's a tough one. I mean, it seemed to be with the track that I, I went back on that complex in 2021, and it seemed fairly accurate uh, around 60, 66%. I, I think it's going to lean closer to the 215. I know that seems kind of a big jump, but 
And then the ladies, I think it's going to sit around 145. So quick review without mumbling too much here. I think it's going to be roughly a 120-ish or so for guys, 115-ish so or so for ladies on the Metcon. The weight lift, I think we're leaning towards about a 215 thruster cluster, uh, thruster and a ladies 145. Let's call it 210 for guys, 145 for ladies. Those are my predictions. Um, you know, we'll see. That is uh, 20, 23, uh, 2A and 2B's predictions this week. We'll